Howdy, friends. Uh, hey, I got to tell you, it's been a minute, I know. Uh, and also, uh, I have been fighting the flu or something nasty for about five days. So I've been on the couch for five days. I feel like dog shit. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, <laughs> I wanted to come, I'm feeling a little better, but I wanted to come do a video. It's been a hellacious April and then five days in Key West. Um, it man, it, I've never worked so hard in my life. It knocked me out. And so I caught something, man. Wash your hands. Stay, stay uh, healthy and safe out there, friends. Um, but I just wanted to say hi uh, and thank you so much, guys. Look, we reached 80,000 followers with this uh, guitar community here. The, the, the record in stereo is selling like gangbusters. We started doing some promotions for that this morning. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about some of the things that I've been working on. One of those little things I did just a minute ago is, is just something that... Uh, not necessarily working on, but just something that, um, uh, just trying to develop and maybe if you want to call it practicing or whatever, but just some of the things that I kind of try to figure out when I'm messing around with the guitar for fun. Uh, I'm going to show you some of that and just have a little general discussion here. Um, there's been some amazing things. You know, one of the things that I did when I, when I've been on, uh, on the couch down here, couch surfing, uh, in my living room for, for the past five days, which couldn't have come at a better time because I took this week off anyway because it's just been so crazy. And with the record success and all that stuff, I was just like, man, we did it. We're, I'm chilling for a minute. So uh, always a good reminder to do that. We got to take some time for ourselves because look what happens. I, I burned the candle at both ends for, for six weeks straight and end up with the flu. So there's a perfect example of what happens when you don't take care of yourself. But um, uh, getting back on my diet plan, getting back on the exercise plan uh, coming up, I'm going to start fighting uh, for that again. Um, which is not easy. As we know, we just got to start doing a little bit of it every day, right? Um, uh, had a really good interview with Uncle Larry and the guy from Guitar Player Magazine this morning. There'll be a bunch of press stuff coming out on the record. Uh, again, that's just going so much better than we could even uh, um, imagine, right? So that's awesome. Um, I've seen some of you guys in the past uh, couple weeks here, man. Been great to see you guys. We had a great clinic in Ohio. Uh, thanks for that. God, what else is going on? I went. Oh, I was going to tell you when I was down on the couch, uh, watching a lot of movies and stuff, playing a little guitar, but generally just kind of taking it easy, um, sleeping a lot as you do. Uh, I went down the uh, started going down the Rick Beato rabbit hole a little bit farther and listening to some of those interviews. And man, there is just some great, great stuff on there. The Pat Metheny, the Al Di Miola, some of the drummers that he's had, the guy from uh, the guy from Smashing Pumpkins uh, was a fascinating interview. Um, uh, Stuart Copeland, just the whole gamut of stuff that he's doing that, that I normally wouldn't check out, like producers and things like that, man. Things like that. Just great stuff. So, man, check out some of the Rick Beata stuff. Um, he's a friend. I've had dinner with him about five or six times. I love the guy. But, man, he's really doing some cool, cool, cool shit. Um, I was also going to tell you, oh, God, there's so much stuff that's happened. Uh, it's just been unbelievable. Um, check out, oh, man, uh, the Aldemiola. Uh, I had known what an amazing musician that guy is but he plays so much guitar on that Rick Beata interview it's just so good he's playing just this amazing flamenco inspired uh jazz and all the latin stuff it's just amazing and so and he seems like a really cool guy they all seem like really cool guys uh except I will say that Stuart Copeland seems like he would be uh, kind of a difficult guy to, to hang out to hang out with but all the other guys seem pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, um, so getting getting to some guitar stuff, and I, there's a there's so much shit that's happened uh, that we'll get into at some point here. But I mainly just want to say thanks for helping me build the channel. Uh, uh, there's much more to come. I'm supposed to do an Otis Gibbs interview uh, coming up, maybe so you can check that out. That's going to be fun. I had to postpone that due to the cold and stuff. But anyway, um, getting back to this, I'm just trying to get my hands back. To, to, to being in shape after not playing for a couple of days. Uh, so forgive any, uh, no extra charge for mistakes, as we like to say. Um, I've been doing this little thing where I'll start on the E minor. And I'm just going to go up every single note. And just 
keep going up, but I'm gonna do it with chords. So I'm gonna go E minor, F, then D with a uh, uh, F sharp in the bass, G, E with the third, A minor, uh, diminished, B, mi B minor, C, A with the third in it, D7, diminished, E minor, F, D with the third, G, G, uh, G sharp diminished, could be also an E7, A, diminished, and I just keep working it up. That's a kind of a fun little exercise to kind of do. It's it's kind of challenging, but but kind of fun. And then the other stuff I'm working on is um, my right hand speed a little bit. If where I'll take a just a pentatonic, you know. All right, see. So. Right. I'm trying to get a couple of those little things down. Not that I would use that a whole lot, but just mainly for the, I'm realizing as I get older, my hands have taken a beating. I mean, I've got knuckles and aches and pains and stuff that you just can't believe. I mean, I'll never talk about that very much, but, but my hands have taken a beating over the years of just not doing anything properly and just playing hard and loud and fast and and all that stuff but but that's a little exercise sometimes i'll try to do this one like if i go three times uh, and then another thing I've been working on that's kind of cool is just taking these single notes and doing them with double stops right sit down and just go for it videos me and uncle larry and that's about it i don't know anybody else that does that so uh we're just we're just we sit down and we go for it uh warts and all right so um anyway uh there's a couple things here's another thing i've been working on a little bit is just these it's kind of the same uh principle it so you'll see me make some mistakes here but I'm, I'm just trying to get that thing down where I can uh. perfectly but that's the idea you know uh, I screwed that up here's the real one right that's right so just those you know it's the major scale on the little 
sixes and stuff. I'm just showing you a couple things that I mess with when I'm when I'm playing. Um, I might work on these arpeggios where I'm kind of going like if I'm in A to D, uh, A to E seven, you know. This YouTube video up here uh, with all these mistakes in it, but you know I, I, I don't really, I don't really care because we're we're searching for it, right? So that so some of those little exercises uh, up A down E seven, and that's an E seven arpeggio out of the C shape. So that's what I'm talking about. Some of these reoccurring chord relationships. So the high note of the chord uh, is really what you're um, uh, uh, like sparking your melodies off of, right? So if I'm playing the, the high string of the A chord. If I play that, you know, A, so, in that so if I'm going like that saying so if I go uh horribly executed I, example because I feel like shit and and uh, and and I haven't played guitar in a couple days but that's the idea um you hear that harmony right Where, 
that's where it would be. So if I'm here. sense because that's like kind of my thing I was doing the other day where I went targeting those chord tones and so I know that's a lot and this is all a lot and we could do a YouTube channel for 10 years just talking about chord shapes and, and connecting these things but there's a few little things for you just to get back in the game here um, sorry to get on here and sound all congested and all nasty and gross but but uh, I want to get back on and start getting this thing uh, happening again get get up to a hundred thousand followers why not it's good to have a goal it gives you something to work towards but I really don't care about the amount of views or any of that kind of shit. I just, um, I'm going to keep doing what I, what I want to do. And, and, and uh, the feedback from you guys is great. Let's get the comments section going. Tell me what you'd like to engage in here a little bit more. Um, just, uh, you know, wanting to get back to being good and healthy and strong, get that immune system built back up and, um, and then uh, rock on, man. we got a lot of stuff to do. The trio is going to be doing some recording. Um, we're going back to New York in July on the 16th and 17th, Berkeley School, Berkeley College of Music. We're going to do a, a performance up there with the trio. And um, man, just happy for everybody that's out there kicking ass and making good music. And, and um, there's so much more to come. There's some other stuff I wanted to talk about on here, but I can't remember what that was. Uh, I'll do it on the next one. But guys, thanks a bunch. If you like the videos and you're not doing any of the lessons or artist works or anything, please hit the tip jug. Just think for the price of a cup of coffee, uh, you could change our lives on here. You, could you imagine if 80,000 people, which we know they're not all engaged, but if you, um, most of them are probably, probably divorced. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if 80,000 people get donated a dollar to one of these channels, it would change that person's life. Uh, and so if you're liking the channel, uh, please subscribe if you haven't, which I, I never say that either. Uh, but, um, uh, and if you if you're liking what you're seeing here and you're able to get something out of it, um, you know, throw ten bucks in the tip jar or something, and uh, and it was much much appreciated. Like I said, for the price of a cup of coffee, uh, you guys could change people's lives, not just mine, but anybody on YouTube. So, uh, hey guys, thanks a million. We'll see you guys soon. And um, and uh, when I get better, man, we're gonna we're gonna keep kicking some ass here. All right, guys, see ya. Bye.